Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, February 14th, 2021. It's Valentine's Day. All right, let's get started. All right, because it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to take a wild guess and guess that we might have some sort of love theme today or something to do with Valentine's Day. And look at this, we've got red squares all over the grid. So I think that bolster, bolsters my theory. How many of these do we have here? Eight. Okay, and we've got one and one across here. So let's see if we can get lucky and maybe get an indication of our theme right off the bat. Percussion instrument in a marching band. Um, hmm. Well, they have drums. Drums. Snare. S-N-A-R-E. That would be too short. Hmm. Is there any other kind of percussion? It's mostly drums, isn't it? We'll take a look at the f this four down here, this other clue that intersects the red square. Subsequent versions. Hmm. Subsequent versions make me makes me think of like print runs of books. Like a subsequent version of a book would have a correction or something like that. Hmm. Like a second print. Hmm. Okay, well, we didn't have any luck getting the theme right off the bat, so let's see if we can move on and maybe get lucky with some crossing help. Word with sound or solar. Sound waves? Solar waves? That's too short. Solar power? Sound power? No, that doesn't really work either. I'm going to see if I can get a short one. Okay, yeah. Thurman of Kill Bill. That's Uma Thurman. Word before and after A. Hmm. Wow, that seems like there's a lot of things that do that. But it's the same word before and after. Hmm. Start of a playground taunt. I am not. Hmm. Fatsis who wrote Word Freak. I'm not familiar with this at all, the book or the the writer. Hmm. Sharp in a way. I have a feeling this is asking about sharp as in intelligence, some sort of word to mean clever, maybe? Hmm. Some Ivy Leaguers. Um, well, the first thing that springs to mind is Eli's, which is uh, what you call people that go to Yale. That fits, so I'm going to put that in right away. Comfy slip-on in brief. Uh, I'm thinking it's a footwear, like maybe a moccasin. Uh, you could use mock for that, for sure. All right, I like this IC here. That's looking good. C57 across. With three down, one of the Avengers... Well, there's not that many Avengers, right? Can we run through them? There's Captain America. Oh, did we get it right away? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I think that works. Captain America. Nice, that's gonna help a lot, I think. Sharpen away. Hmm. Narrow. This could also be the verb, like, to narrow, so we have to kind of watch out here a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> I think I just got this. Is this Yo Mama? Yeah. Yo Mama. All right, well, I'll, I won't come up with any examples. I'm sure you've heard plenty of Yo Mama jokes. Okay. Word with sound or solar. Huh. Sound system, solar system. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sharp in a way. Hmm. I really want to get this one. Hmm. Tart? 
guess that could be like sh something sharp flavor wise could be tart. Wow, this is looking like snare drum, isn't it? Yeah, and maybe we've got rebuses inside of our red squares here. Yeah, let's try that out. So S and A. Um, and put in a rebus. Red. Ooh, that looks good. Snare. But we need an R too, right? So snare drum. R E D R? Hmm. And then subsequent versions would be read drafts. Hmm. I kind of was expecting this to just be red. Why is this red R? Weird. I mean, I thought with the Va Valentine's theme, red would make a, a perfect uh, rebus string, but R-E-D-R looks really weird to me. All right, well, maybe if we fill in some more, it'll make more sense to us. Is this maybe Stefan? So what would this be? Not a lot for few, yeah, not a lot. And then this is probably an N, right? Mono a mono, yeah. Hand to hand. Um, early tie. Hmm. What is an early tie? Is it 1-1 one, one maybe, like in a sports game, if the score is 1-1, one to one, it would be an early tie? Interesting. Okay. So I wonder if in this second red square we're going to get the R-E-D-R -E string again. Born yesterday, so to speak. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to start with... I'm not, I'm not sure if this is going to be R-E-D-R -E again. PX Shopper. What is PX? I'm not sure I know what this stands for, PX. Hmm. Turned on. Hmm. Prefix with sexual. Well, I think there's a lot of possibilities there. Hmm. Kitchen brand with a palindromic name. I think there's a kitchen accessory maker called OXO. So that would work as a palindrome. Kind of symmetry should be axial symmetry, I think. So maybe it's not one one, maybe it's one all. That's another way of saying one one. And then this can be axial. Okay. Yeah, like a symmetry around an axis. A pretty capable sort. Go getter. Hmm. This could be pansexual. You're attracted to all kind of genders, I think. Okay, so uh, pow powered. Is that what this is going to be? Uh, power. So this is R E. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, let's just uh, roll with it and see if um, see if it makes more sense as we go along. Um. Hmm. Most feathery as clouds. Is this going to be wispiest? Yeah. So we got that most word in there, which indicates a, super a superlative suffix here. Singer DeFranco. I'm pretty sure that's Annie DeFranco. I know my music knowledge isn't great, but I believe I've heard that name before. What an article may come with. Uh, okay, so this is a wordplay clue. So an article is like a, a word like the. So it's probably gonna just be noun. Like the dog would be the with a noun. So yeah, let's put noun in there. Prefix with sexual again. Ooh, this is a very romantic puzzle. I'm liking it. Um, 
Hmm. Is it... Ambisexual? <laughs> I've never heard that term before. Would this be an M? Big name and bubbly. Well, that's Moe, right? And is this a B? Small woodland songbird. Um... Hmm... I don't know. Hmm. This is probably an I though, right? Town Square for the Global Village of Tomorrow per Bill Gates. Is that the internet? Yeah, sounds like something Bill Gates would say. Uh, okay. The ones over th oh, the ones over here. So that if you were saying the ones over here, you'd be pointing to these, whatever it is. Um It looks like it could start with bush, right? So I'm, I feel pretty comfortable putting this in here. Um, hmm. It means business. Hmm. I'm not sure what this means. The Quran for one. Well, uh, it's a holy book, right? It could be maybe scripture, S-C-R-I-P. That seems like it's not really even close to what's happening in these other squares. I feel like there's some sort of thing happening with the word red, but hmm, it's like the letters in red are involved in somehow. So I feel like having a P in here is probably not a great idea. Can we get this cross maybe? Group tour vehicle. Group tour, is it like a party bus or a, uh, hmm, I don't know, like a, hmm, maybe we can start this corner up here. Jimmy of the Daily Planet, oh yeah, that's Jimmy Olsen, right? That's Superman's uh, buddy at the Daily Planet. Thong song singer, 2000. Boy, who sang that? It was just all over the place that year and like it was just so obnoxious but I don't know if I can remember who sang it I'll probably I'll probably be able to get it once I get some help let's move on for now drain as from soil I think that's leech is it a or I think two e's is the creature that sucks blood and the L-E-A version is leaching, is draining from soil. Yeah, I think that's right. Animals in a pod. I think orcas travel in a pod, like whales. L.L. Bean competitor is R-E-I. Medieval helmet. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Exonerate. So you're... You're proving someone's not guilty of something? Hmm. Prime snorkeling spots. Uh, maybe that shoals? Yeah, it's like... Hmm. Like... Areas with... with a lot of... Sea life. In the capacity of... Hmm. It's not Allah, right? It's not quite... Allah just means like you're doing something in the style of... Not not really the capacity of... You're not like acting with the authority of someone with Allah, right? Hmm. Calm. Hmm. Stakes. Is it like money? Like you stake someone's portion of something? Hmm. Or is it something that's at stake? One's initiating handoffs for short. Okay, I think that's got to be QBs, right? Quarterbacks in football. So this Q hopefully will help quite a bit. Yeah, it definitely will. Okay, so that's going to be tranquil for calm, right? Hmm. And this U here might help. Ugh, yeah, boy, this seems like a very particular word like it's a very specific thing they're asking for oh yes okay but now i see more letters in this name i think it's cisco that sang the thong song 
exonerate. What? What is this? Hmm. This should be a quit, right? Oh, was it Cisco with a Q? Okay. All right. Thank you, Cisco. Still annoying me after all these years. Well, I mean, you know what? I guess it's appropriate that he's on the Valentine's Day puzzle. I guess it's fine. Okay, Cisco, you can stay. All right, so this is going to be a quit. And then... Hmm. I want this to be a Q too, actually. I want it to be quoi? I don't know why, but I know there's... I think there's a French word, quoi. I've, I think there's a phrase called sin quoi non. I have no idea what it means, but I kind of want this to be cask, C-A-S-Q-U-E. I feel like I've maybe seen that word before, so I'm just gonna put it in. I think it's right. Um, this might come back to bite us, so I gotta remember to come back here if we're not able to finish the puzzle off easily. Uh, okay. This really doesn't help us too much in this section though, does it? Sci-fi publisher of Ender's Game and The Wheel of Time. Okay, this is, I think, the classic sci-fi fantasy publisher, Tor. Yeah, they have like a mountain as their icon. You see that on all the spines of the fantasy novels. Cater's Container, I think, is an urn for like coffee. Okay, so this does sort of look like it ends in bus, doesn't it? Something bus? Hmm. Interesting. Reduced. Hmm. Like, what kind of reduced? Like reduced in price or reduced, like you would reduce a sauce? Hmm. Okay, a pretty capable sword is going to be no slouch. Yeah. So like, if you're good at something, you're no slouch at it. Okay. Fleet org. Is that the US Navy? Maybe? Like many stuffed animals. Yeah, that'll be plushy. Mango Madness and Go Bananas for two. I'm pretty sure Mango, Mango Madness is a Snapple flavor. So let's put in... Snapples, yeah. Yeah, if you were alive in the 90s, you definitely s drank a lot of Snapples. Um, okay, so group tour vehicle, I guess, is going to be a charter bus. So oh, that would make this R charter bus, right? RB? What the heck is going on in these squares? So this is gonna be book, right? Something book. Hmm. Not holy book though, right? It means business. Well, this is looking like bush tit because a tit is a kind of a bird, right? So, <laughs> um, this is a very amorous puzzle so far. So what could this be? It means business. Maybe it's ink, like incorporated, like you're literally, this is the, you're incorporated. You, you see that at the end of business name. So it means business. So, okay, so this is gonna be sake red book. So then this isn't just RB, it's R E D B. Sake red book. Chartered bus. Okay, ooh, that's tricky. Um, red R, red B. So is this gonna have a red in it too? Born yesterday, so to speak. It does sort of look like maybe there should be a red in here too, right? Uh, I guess this could be credulous. So this is C R E D U. Powered up. 
Okay, there we go. So, all right, so this is starting to look more sensible now to me. So it looks like we've got red R, red U, red B. So, okay, yeah, maybe this is gonna like spell something out at some point. I don't wanna think about it too hard just yet, but I have a feeling that's where we're headed. Okay, all right, this is starting to come together. Um, hmm. PX though, what the heck is that? Uh, is it an NCO, non-commissioned officer? I don't think I have any way of knowing. What an outstretched arm with an open palm can mean. Help, possibly, H-E-L-P. N-C-L, would that be salt? That really makes no sense to me. Hmm. All right, let's come back to this area. Build up could be hype. Show again, re-air maybe, like if you're a television station. <laughs> Blank smear, that's a pap smear. Let's check for uh, cervical cancer, I think. Uh, Turkish officers. Mm, I'm not sure. Is this gonna actually be some sort of rank in the Turkish army? Do me this one favor. Hmm. Is it going to end in okay? Place with robes and sweaters. Is that a sauna? That's a great clue. Not like a, a sweater, a shirt that you wear, but literally someone that's sweating. See, there's robes and people sweating at a sauna. That's a fantastic clue. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be all I ask an equivalent phrase to do me this one favor. Hmm, yeah. Contrary wise. Hmm, is it vice versa? I think that might fit. Yeah, I think that's good. AE though, what is this gonna be? They'll be missed. Hmm, I think this AE Prefix looks okay in this sense, in this context. Maybe it's aerosols. Yeah, aerosols. Yeah, nice. That's a great answer there. That's a pretty good clue. That's cute. Okay, Super Bowl of 2022. Oh man, what did we just have? 20, 2021 was 55, right? So this is going to be 56. So it'll just be an I there. Okay. Sui blank. I think that's sui generis. French phrase, I think it just means like, sui generis just means, what does it mean? It means like realistic, I think maybe, or or like true to life maybe. I don't know, Goose, can you correct me if I'm not right about that? Okay, a fine mesh this is. <laughs> That's a sieve. Again, these, um exclamation mark clues or like I guess they're um I yeah I guess I'll, I'll just call them exclamation mark clues they're they're not phrases they're not like the quotation mark clues um where you have to find an equivalent phrase like this one they're um they're asking you to literally it's, it's like a literal definition of the thing they're asking for. So a sieve is a fine mesh. So yeah, the, the exclamation part mark clues work a little bit different than a normal clue, but that's all it means. I, I feel like this is one of the more confusing conventions that they use in cluing. So hopefully you can watch out for that next time it crops up. I think we had one uh, yesterday. It was like sit uh, no, it was wait here, right? And it was, the answer was restaurant because you would wait tables at a restaurant. Yeah, so that would, that's an example of another exclamation mark clue there. Playground comeback. I guess that could be R so. There's been a lot of playground taunting going on. Yo mama, R so. 
Indulgence can be a treat. Some mattresses. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's gonna be king or queen or full twin, nothing like that. Narrow, that could be taper. Like if something narrows, it tapers off. Yeah, that was pretty tricky. Oh, and this is gonna be a brand of mattress, Sertas, okay. Oh, this is gonna be stop. So it is NCO. What in the world is PX? Is that, um, is that the, like, military commissary or something like that? What does that actually mean? Bruce, can you let us know what that means? Okay. Capital of French Polynesia. Hmm. Well, I think we can safely put in red here at least, right? We don't know what's going to end it, but... Without a doubt, uh, yeah, that could be assured red, and then Lee at the end, assuredly. Yeah, okay. And then what's this cross gonna be? Best supporting actor winner for Dallas Buyers Club. Um, well, that was wasn't Dallas Buyers Club. Was that Matthew McConaughey? Hmm. I'm not sure who else was in that movie though. I haven't seen it yet. Non-gendered as language abbreviated. Hmm. I'm not sure about this either. Is it newt? Neutral? Neuter I think is the like word for not masculine feminine. Yeah, I think there's masculine feminine and neuter or I think it is neuter. Yeah. If I remember from my German classes. Okay. Instrument in Oh Susanna. That's definitely a banjo. Oh, don't you cry for me. Okay, best supporting actor is gonna be Jared Leto, it looks like. Okay. Now what do we have here? West Coast beer brand in brief. Hmm. Hi. Ah. I'm not sure about this. I have spent a little bit of time on the West Coast. I guess I haven't had enough beer over there. Post-production. Um, hmm. I guess it's cereal, right? Post is a cereal brand. That's pretty good. Ollie. What does this stand for, Ollie? Hmm. I mean, yeah, I've never seen that before. Prats, is that arses? I guess that's British sw British slang for asses. Okay. Opposite of a standing order, be seated. That's pretty good. Debussy, Debussy prelude inspired by a water sprite. Oh, I love Claude Debussy. I love Claire de Lune, but I don't know the name of this one. Hmm. Maybe this is eco-friendly? Prefix with friendly? Ondine? Hmm. This makes me a little nervous. I think I'm pretty sure about everything else, though. So, yeah, I guess we can keep that in. Ondine. Hmm. Seasick sea serpent of old cartoons. Oh, man. Hmm. Is it Cecil? I haven't heard of that. Is that from Popeye or something? Okay, so this is like in the um, SAT analogies. The colon means is to. So like if you have one thing is to this as this other thing is to that. That sort of construction, that's what the colon means. It means is to. And to the two colons in the middle are as. So if you ever see two colons, you could put in as, although you shouldn't because as is just two letters. You should never have an as two letter answer in a grid. Um, yeah, it is looking like Cecil. Hmm. L'chaim. Um, I mean, that's, a, that's something you say when you toast. I think it literally means to life. Yeah, in like Hebrew, okay. 
I see how that's what you say when you're toasting someone. All right. A, B, E, G. Hmm. Is it one? Oh, this is, we're gonna have a red here. So maybe we could put that in. Hmm. What's this? British tennis champ who invented the sweatband. Wow. Well, I guess it's Fred something. <laughs> I guess we're not gonna get the end. Uh, yeah, cause I don't, I don't recognize this person. A barrister's degree. I think that's an LLB, I wanna say. I don't know what it stands for. I'm not super certain about this B though. We gotta watch out for that. Kind of modern office plan. I mean, is that open floor? Yeah. It seems like everybody's doing that these days. Nobody has an office anymore. Okay, I guess it is Cecil. C6 Sea Serpent. Interesting. Okay. Um, ORB. Is this a D, maybe? Hmm. I guess it could be an ordered list, maybe? Is this an E here? Drawn out campaigns. Yeah, that could be sieges, like a siege warfare. I'm gonna put a D here instead. And then I'm gonna th I'm gonna guess that this is maybe an ordered list. It looks like it's, this is maybe like programming language. An ordered list would come into play, I think. Ooh, bow blank. Starts with a G, hmm. Suffix with social. Social with an S? Ooh, maybe it's not a list. Yeah, Latin king? Yeah, that's definitely not right. Okay, I think a Latin king is gonna be a rex. Like in Latin, the word for king is rex, so. Hmm. Social, I would want this to be social light or socialize. Notable point in geometry. Uh, maybe it's a vertex. Hmm. Like a point in a shape. That still doesn't really let us know what's going to be here though. Especially. Hmm. Can we get this V? Bench tool. Maybe that's a vice. UN member since 1949. This looks about the time maybe when Israel started, so I'm just gonna put in Israel here. Hmm. I'm really, uh, yeah, I, I have no idea about this tennis player here. Grams. Is this like a slang for your grandmother, maybe? Hmm. Capital of Yemen. Hmm, I should know this. Maybe with some, some more letters, I'll be able to get it. Rules out. Okay, this is a play on words. Where's the pun here? Like, hmm. Maybe it's like in soccer, like if you go out of bounds or something, a referee would rule you out. I don't know about that. Hmm. Bank posting. Hmm. It's hard to break into this section over here. Reduced. Okay, that could be on sale, maybe. And I guess we do have another theme answer here. Timid sort. This is going to start with red again. Hmm. Scare. Scaredy cat, maybe? A R E D. Spell scaredy, maybe with a Y. Scaredy, yeah, that looks okay. And then cat, okay. So maybe we can get this long one now. Kind of dash, yeah. Okay, maybe that's a hundred, hundred yard dash. Yeah, very good. Okay. Is this Pashto? I feel like I've maybe seen that word before. 
T T N though? No. This seems like it should be an E, maybe. Grams. Nana? Wait, maybe that is Nana. Is it not Vice? Bench tool. Wait, if this is Nana... Ugh. This looks terrible. Vile? Maybe like a chemistry bench. I don't think of a, a vial as a tool, though. It's just a, a vessel. Hmm. Smell of a rose. Hmm. Let's try to get this section over here. Popular beer brand, briefly. Another popular beer brand. I guess it's not Ollie. Outcast. Hmm. Out of focus? That could just be blurry, right? Okay, so maybe the popular beer brand is Pabst Blue Ribbon, the hipster's favorite beer. Surface anew, say. Huh. I would want that to be recur, maybe. Oh, man. French vineyards. I feel like I should know the word for this. I think it's on wine bottles sometimes you see it. I think maybe the second letter is an R. Yeah, because this looks like pariah and then ooh, North African capital. I don't think I know this one. Bank posting. ID something? No, I don't think this can be a vowel. Can it? Hmm. Rules out? Is it anarchy? There's no rules, it's anarchy? I guess so, yeah. It's one one definition of anarchy at least. Uh hmm. Boy, I really w wish I could get this one. Okay, I think I think the capital of Yemen is Sanaa. Maybe two A's. Yeah. Pasha's. Yeah, that that sounds plausible. Bank posting. Maybe that's CD rate. Oh boy, is that hard. Certificate of deposit rate. I guess they would post those. Wow. Boy, that was tricky. But NTT. What? Oh, man. Maybe it's not right after all. Uh, is this vice still? Crams. Mm. Well, North African capital could be Cairo. That's Egypt, right? So... Maybe this is resod. Is that resurfacing? I guess it sort of is. You're putting more grass on, right? C-U-R-S just doesn't seem right to me, though. All right, I'm going to think about it and come back to it. Smell of a rose. Mm. I think we need to get these last two letters for me to take a plausible stab at this. France. From France? What? Um, is it is it the word for France in French? Which I don't know if I know that actually. Hmm. Singer who founded Fenty Beauty. Yeesh, more musical arcana. Quibble, maybe that's a knit? Like I have a knit to pick. When doubled, another name for Dorado. I don't know what Dorado is. Is it like El Dorado? I don't think so. Glittery de decoration. Is it a tassel? I like those letters at the end there. Hmm. Blank impasse. That should be at an impasse, right? 
Maybe it's Tinsel. I like that even better. Subis sauce is made from them? Oh boy, yeah, no idea. Wheel of Fortune freebies? Uh, well, it's definitely not vowels, right? You have to buy vowels. What do you get for free on Wheel of Fortune? Oh, it's... <laughs> I just mentioned this in yesterday's puzzle. It's R-S-T-L-N-E. It's not only freebies in Wheel of Fortune, but it's also the, the letters you're going to see all over the, the right and bottom um, sides of crossword grids just because they're so common at the end of English words. So yeah, you can kind of think of like... You should be thinking of words that have R-S-T-L-N-E in them because they're going to show up a lot at the edges. Okay. So maybe we can put the red into this theme clue here. Red. And then sea lion for one. Hmm. Something seal, I think, maybe? Let's, yeah, I feel like that's a fairly safe bet to put in seal. Hmm. Ones with plenty of reservations. Hmm. What kind of reservations? Like you're worried about something? Like if you have reservations about something, you're not sure about it? Hmm. I do like that it sort of seems like it's a plural answer, though. That makes the S look pretty good there. Surveillance org? That could be the NSA or the CIA. No, it has to be NSA, right? Okay, let's put that in. Hmm. Days of old, I think, is your. So. Sea lion? Eared? Seal? What? It, does that just mean they have ears? That's a really weird answer. I don't know if I like that one. Is that a real term? Uh, okay. Uh, maybe subi sauce is made from onions? It looks like it. Oh, oh my god, is this maitre d's? Ooh, this is such a tough cross. Maitre d' like the host at a restaurant? Wow. Yeah, because they'd have a lot of reservations. Okay, so maybe this is mahi-mahi because that's a uh, Hawaiian dish. I think that's fish, so... Maybe Dorado is a fish. Oh, wow. This is such a tough corner. Okay. France from France? Is that Anatoly? I mean, maybe. Goose, can you shed some light on this? Is it Anatoly? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess this is Rihanna. Okay. And then... The smell of a rose. Yo, what is this? Oh no. Um, boy, this is a real tricky section here. It really seems like it should be Nana, but then NT Tar? That, should, that can't be right. Vice? Nanic? Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's come back to that. Do we have anywhere else we need to come back to? We kind of do, right? This. Ugh, that's bad. All right. Can we start back up here, maybe. Unbalanced. That could be tip. Blank ruled the world. If I ruled the world. Words after throwing a ball go fetch. Yeah, to your little doggo. Uh, blank Fridays, maybe TGI Fridays? Yeah, the chain restaurant. Okay, so that's this is going to be our last red square, it looks like. Ingred, okay, packaging list. It looks like it's going to be ingredients, right? E-N-T-S, okay. Suit perfectly. Fit to a T, maybe? Hmm. Fit tote. <laughs> That's a weird looking entry in the grid there. 
Label for Otis Redding and Isaac Hayes. Um, well, they're both singers, right? I guess maybe it's like a music label. Something I know very little about. Okay. Blank cake, dim sum dish. Hmm. I don't know about that either. Especially. Hmm. It almost looks like it could end in EST, but then two E's look, looks really weird there. Eighth letter. Is this eighth letter in the Greek alphabet? Is it theta? Wow, that's pretty tricky too. All right, blade, <laughs> blade brand. Can I just complain about this? I hate Atra. It's just like such crosswordies, Phil. I really don't like this. I've never seen one of these in person. You've only ever seen this in the crossword. Okay, rant about Atra over. Is it taro cake? I guess that would make sense. Make it out of taro root. Okay. Especially, not least of which? Yeah, not least. Yeah, I like that. Deli supply could be locks. So I guess the record label is stacks with an X? Okay, that seems plausible. Ordered. La layer? I can't, What? what is this? L? So, oh wait, I had the, the L is in there from list, and that's not in there anymore. So, so what could this be? Maybe a B, Fred Berry? Ordered. Hmm. Ordered pear. There we go. That makes more sense. All right. So, it's maybe Fred Perry with an E. And then, uh, well, the Z just seems so implausible here, socialize. So I think I'm just gonna put in socialite and then have this be guest, beau, guest, more French. Goose, can you, see vous play, can you <laughs> translate? Uh, thank you. Um, okay, so anthem contraction, that's gonna be uh, or, or the ramparts we watched. Students bonus point. Yeah, that should just be extra credit, right? Smell of a rosé as opposed to a rose. If only this could help us get that. Um, I mean, a rosé is just, it's like wine, it smells like wine, doesn't it? I mean, can we just put wine in there? Does that make sense? I-X? No, yeah. Ox, I think field plowing duo is gonna be like an ox team, maybe? Would that be right? Happy Lunar New Year, New Year everyone, by the way. The year of the ox, a very sweet animal. Hopefully that'll be a good omen for this year. Okay, so maybe the smell of a rose will be the nose, like you described the smell of a wine as the nose it has, yeah. Poem piece, that could be a stanza. What ponies express? Hmm. I guess, okay, so this is a wordplay clue and maybe the pun is on express, like the expression that ponies make, like the noise that they make. So I guess that could just be a nay or maybe nays, plural. Guardian spirits, ooh. I think this does look right. Is it like Genji or something like that? Would that be a J? Suffix with court or cash. Hmm, uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. Greenish brown, that could be hazel, like someone's eyes, greenish brown. Sharp. Okay, that could just be smart. If you're smart, you're sharp. Listing, yeah, that could be a tilt. If you're listing, you're a tilt, like a boat. So what is this then? Maybe it's an eye, like a courtier or a cashier. Yeah, and then this is just genie, like genies. 
Do they count as guardian spirits? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess they would. Yeah, because you can like they kind of like are around you all the time and you make wishes. Hmm. I guess they can protect you in a, in a certain way. Or maybe genii are different a uh, different kind of spirit altogether. Okay. Oh, boy, now we have to deal with this nasty section over here. Oh, we've been going for 50 minutes already. Boy, you guys are champions if you're still uh, solving along with me. <laughs> this has been a little bit of a slog, even though... Um, I don't know. I never felt like we were, like, floundering too badly. But, uh, yeah, it's just been kind of, like, pulling teeth getting answers every every section we're in. Um, all right. Which one are we more likely to get first? I'm just going to run the alphabet in my mind quickly here and see if anything makes sense other than resod. Repod? I don't think so. Um, hmm. I think the S is the only letter that really makes sense. Cruz? Oh, wait. No, that's right. It's just C-R-U is the vineyard crew. And then the S is just the plural. Okay. Good. This is great news. Okay, so that means this section, I think, is okay. So that means we really just have to worry about this section. Hmm. I'm very sure about Sana. This... Yeah, no, I think this is right. And then Anarchy makes sense. 100 yard. So... Bench tool cannot be a valle. So... I think it has to be vice. I just I just can't see it not being vice here. So Hmm. Uh, isn't there like It makes me think of like Esther or something. I do think there's some sort of word here. Is it it is it itar nanic? Why would this be nanic? Grams. Mm. All right, well, I'm gonna put something in here and we're probably gonna see the, you have a letter wrong square or the, uh, the error message. And then um, I'm going to wrestle with this until we get a completed puzzle here. So let's do that real quickly and I'll fast forward if we need to here. Okay, I think we had a breakthrough here. All right, I was just, I think you maybe saw me poking around at the grid and I was just focusing so much here because like, it doesn't really make sense to look for errors somewhere else in the grid until this is sensible to me. And I kept trying to put in Nana, it just wasn't making sense. But I think actually what I hit upon was the, this is Graham's plural. It's not Graham, it's Graham's. So you need Nana's. And you can spell Nana with two N's, but you can also spell it with one N. And then I think Vice down here isn't, it's not spelled with a, a C. Vice with a C just means like immorality, right? Vice, vice and virtue. The vice that you have on your bench is V-I-S-E. So I think this is going to be our trouble square. And let's hope when we put an S in here, it's going to finish the puzzle for us. <laughs> Wow, that is a relief. Okay, so I think we spent, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so trying to track that error down. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, I think this this felt like a very difficult puzzle. It almost felt like they took all the difficulty that we were lacking in the uh, Friday and Saturday puzzles and crammed it into the Sunday puzzle. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, look at this. It transformed. Okay, so looks like we have for the Final theme is ruby, red, lips. Nice. And it sort of vaguely makes a lip smack <laughs> picture. Maybe you can imagine that there's a little smooch mark on this puzzle. Okay. Um, I think, yeah, this was an interesting theme. I, I think it's pretty good. I think... Um, it's not like super elegant the way that um, 
I'm not sure if I love this, that like you have to imagine reading Ruby and then you read the reds and then lips. It, it's just sort of a little bit inelegant, but um, I don't know. I, I don't want to like dock too many points for it. Like the, the rebuses are cool. Like I, I kind of love rebuses in general. So um, it's cool that they're like, you know, working the same string of letters in both directions. That's always good. Um, the it, it just felt very like punishingly hard. There's like a lot of tricky stuff. Like cask is very hard. Crossing qua. Like that's really tricky. Um, yeah, like this crossing this is a little tricky. I mean, it was pretty inferable, but yeah, I don't know. This is, this is very, played very hard for me. Um, but I don't know. I think, hmm, I think it's fine though. Like I, I really don't think there was anything unfair about it. So, um, oh yeah, Goose, can you let us know what a tar is? I guess maybe that just literally means the smell from a flower. Is that what that is? Hmm. Okay. Well, I think everything else was kind of... I was able to, like, explain it to myself. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think it just is a really hard puzzle with a, you know, pretty good theme, but could be maybe a little bit more elegant. Um, but yeah, I think overall still a good puzzle. Um, I just love when they tie the puzzle themes into Valentine's or just any holiday. I love when they're tied into the holiday. So I'm going to give it some extra credit for that. Um, and I think with that, we are going to finish off the Sunday puzzle. I hope you guys enjoyed solving along with me. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I know this has been a really long video, so hopefully you've been enjoying it all the way through. Um, all right. So then we're going to next up is going to be the Monday puzzle. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow with a nice, easy Monday, hopefully explaining my solving methods. And, um, and then also if you were, if you really loved this puzzle and couldn't get enough of the difficulty, I'm also going to be doing a early week New Yorker puzzle, which is going to be landing Monday or Tuesday. And that is going to be the hardest difficult difficulty New Yorker puzzle of the week. So that's going to be like a Friday, Saturday, New York times level difficulty. So if you like really difficult, punishingly difficult puzzles like this one, you can check out that New Yorker puzzle early week when there's uh, just easy puzzles on the New York times and get your difficult puzzle fill. All right. Uh, with that, I think that is going to do it for now. Okay. I'll see you next time.